Healthier diet equals easier digestion. And easier digestion will equal more energy and less disease. How does easier digestion equal more energy and less disease? Well, digestion is a very energy intensive process. Okay, it can take 40 to 60 percent of your daily energy requirements just for digestion. Of all the different of the hundreds and hundreds of processes your body goes through in a day, digestion, the most energy intensive process, okay? And here's why that range of 40 to 60 percent. It can take 60 or even 65 percent if you're eating a standard Western, a typical Western diet, an unhealthy diet. 40 percent if you're eating a very, very healthy diet, the healthiest diet you can possibly eat. Still requires 40 percent. That's a pretty big chunk still, right? But let's get these numbers in a better, let's, let's put them into context. Everyone has a basal metabolism of about 30%. What basal metabolism is, if you woke up and you didn't open your eyes, you just lied there for 16 hours, didn't think, don't think about anything because that requires some energy, just lie there. Don't listen to music and then went back to sleep. Your body still required 30% of your daily energy requirement to, to exist, just to live. Everybody. It, this doesn't include um, changing the flat tire, this doesn't include digestion, this doesn't include healing. This is just to exist. Okay. So let's take that 30% away from the 100 that everybody has. So everyone really has 70 for everything else. Digestion, healing, changing the tire, playing with the kids, right? Thinking. 70%. Now let's take those energy figures, uh, those digestion figures, away from that 70%, right? So if you're eating an unhealthy diet, you can be left with 10, maybe even 5%. At the end of the day, that's why people, they come home from work, they're dead tired, they fall asleep during dinner, their face goes right into the mashed potatoes, <laughs> right? They just, they, they don't have any energy left. They're, they're spent by the end of the day. Um, and if they don't have anything left, and healing requires some of what's left, and you're only left with 5%, uh, that's got to be impacting healing negatively, right? But when you go to a healthy diet, now you're left with 30%. That's pretty good. 30%, now you're able to heal, play with the kids, not fall asleep in your mashed potatoes and things like that, okay? But when you go from 10% to 30%, what kind of an increase is that, mathematically speaking? That's a 200% increase. And that's why when people go from a very, very unhealthy diet all the way up to a very, very, very healthy diet, they all report the same thing over time. Well, I have so much more energy now. It must be, you know, the food. I'm eating more, there must be more energy in the food. It's not that there's more energy in the food. It's that the digestion is easier now. And it's freeing up that energy, going from 10 or 5 to 30%. Okay, so this is important to understand. And when you free this up, if there was any healing that your body was trying to do, that it just couldn't do a good enough job, because it just didn't have enough at the end of the day, maybe 10 or 5% left over, now it's got plenty. Now healing is going to increase. This is why diseases start to go away, and the body is then able to resolve diseases by eating healthier. 